All right, guys, down here at the river today, and right out there's our first fishing hole. But <clears throat> instead of, I'm gonna be using worms, but I got here a split shot, and then down to here is a little like nymph thing that I bought. And I'm just gonna tip it with a little bit of night crawler on the end of the hook, just so that it's more, ta it tastes real when they bite into it. But the hook's pretty small. <clears throat> Who knows how good it'll hook fish, honestly, but we're going to try it. So, never tried this for minnows. Once it goes in the water, the white kind of goes together like that. And so it'll, it might, it might get them, guys. So, anyways, we're just going to take it. We're just going to feed it kind of a little piece of worm on there like that. Not a very good cast, but. I think that might have been a bite. There was a bite. Yeah, I didn't, I couldn't hook him. Usually if that's just like a little hook and a worm, it's over right away. You'll get bit, you'll get him. There he is, got that one. That one loaded on and stayed on. And that's because look how big of a shiner it is. Because <laughs> that's literally a pike pike shiner right there. Just on that little white nymph thing. And then at the end of this, after we're done catching our our bait here, you know what, we're gonna go just just the little nymphs. No worm on there. But after this, guys, next we're gonna go to the pond and we're gonna feed my bass what we caught on a on a on a line. We're gonna tie the line to the mouth of the fish and then go back and forth in the water with it, and the fish are gonna go crazy. So, I tried it a while without tipping it with a worm, and you just feel the bites, but you cannot get them. So that means I'm gonna put on a worm again, and we're gonna see how quick that how quick it takes. And I'm not even gonna put a lot. I'm just gonna tiny little the right of worm got that one guys are you kidding me look at the size of this fish no way I hooked this and that's one of these like, I think they're like called stone rollers, I believe. Anyway, that's her. <laughs> I can hook these that I never hook with just worms, but I can't hook a shiner. Look at that. It's like a perch thing. There we go. What the heck did I just get? I did, oh my gosh, look at this. This is definitely the biggest one I've ever caught of these, but I snagged it. Look at that. Whatever those things are, guys. It's a huge one of them, though. It's massive. We're gonna put them in the box, feed the bass. I mean, they eat these things, so. Tried this this little thing for a while at this spot. Caught those three fish, one snag, so it doesn't really count. They, it, it, you feel them just as much, but you can never hook them with this. I don't know what makes it hard to hook them with it, but I have a couple other spots to try. There's a spot up here I'm gonna go to, and it might catch a few bluegill with it. To be honest with you, but got our got a little bit more worm on there, <laughs> just cause and. Just now I took off the split shot, and that's because this current's really slow. We're just going to make it the natural fall of how heavy this fly thing is. So, walking up on here. There's a lot of bluegill here, so I might just get bluegill to be honest with you, but... Oh 
guys, look at it. Small mouse looking at it. Something tried to take it. It's a bluegill, though. Guys, a smallmouth would have taken it, but this bluegill ate it. It's not really hard for bluegill to eat it, it looks like. First, <laughs> third species of the day. Shiner, that other kind of perch fish, and then a bluegill. And if we can get back down there and potentially catch that smallmouth. Oh, we got one. Oh, get out of there. A bluegill had to go into the sticks, guys. Got him. There we go. Pulled him right up here with a stick. It's not very funny, dude. Take that off there like that. Second fish from this spot is another bluegill. Um, he bit that worm and that nymph white. It's honestly just a worm at this point because I have more worm than the white on here, but you know, it's the only way I can catch them. So I don't know. You can see the white in the water pretty well. There we go. Oh my word, guys! Third fish of the day. There, guys, there's a 20-inch smallmouth sitting down there, like four pounds. In this little creek. <laughs> Thing's huge. That's actually stupid how big that is. He, guys, he actually looked at my fly too. He looked at this. If there was a Ned Rig sitting down there, guys, he would have smoked it. 20 inches, easy. Man, a lot of bluegill to catch around here. Oh, Guys, we can even catch bluegill this big on it, it looks like. Well, <clears throat> I think we're done fishing. Um, overall, I would definitely never going to use this ever again for minnow fishing. Usually I have at least 20 minnows caught by now, but I can't get them with this as good. Um, I would definitely just go with a small hook and a worm if you're trying to catch a lot of minnows. Still is my, still is my favorite way to catch them. But, overall we got a little bit of fish to feed our bass, and one just got out of here. Which is fine, we still have some left. Some bluegill to feed them. Anyways, let's, let's go to the pond, feed the fish. So we got our fish here guys, and what we're going to do is we're just going to kill one, and I'm going to put the line through its gills, plates, and tie it like two knots, and then we're going to run the bait on top of the water and try not to let the fish catch it, and then... They're gonna eat it, so. Okay, here we go. They're not here right now, but. Oh yeah, here's one. Oh shoot, it's gone. All right guys, here we go. We're just gonna let it in next to the water right here. Oh, there's the big large one. I'm looking at it up here. Look at it. Guys, they're about to boil up on it. Oh, look at that. There you got it. Didn't break off for a second, but he definitely broke it off this time. And now we got the really, the one that has a little, that's really big. So, let's see if they want this one. Oh my gosh. Oh. Look at him. missed it. <laughs> mm. 
You missed it, buddy. Absolutely gone that time. All right, guys, so that's the end of this video. Um, caught a few uh, fish at the river, like little minnows with that new bait, but I don't think it's that great of, for minnows. But, uh, yeah, we caught some fish. Um, then we went and fed the bass. I think got some slow-mo footage. I don't know for sure. But and then I also got them eating on that line, so looked pretty cool. But hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in the next one.